In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can use the Matcha application to trade different cryptocurrencies. And the reason why you might want to use Matcha is that it aggregates liquidity from all of the different decentralized exchanges out there, including Uniswap, SushiSwap, Curve, all of the big ones. And so in one easy place, if you hit start trading, it opens up the app, you can trade all of the assets across the different decentralized exchanges. It aggregates all that liquidity for you and it makes sure that you get the best price when buying or selling cryptocurrencies. So how does it work? Well, for starters, you're gonna to wanna to connect your wallet, your Web3 wallet to the application. Now you can also choose which network you want to trade on because there's Ethereum mainnet, but there's also Polygon, Arbitrum, Base, Optimism, Binance Chain, and a couple of other ones as well. So for today, I'm gonna to be using the Arbitrum layer two because the fees are lower. On the Ethereum mainnet, the fees are much higher, but you can use any of these different layer twos as well to trade all these different assets. So once you select network, then you select the assets. So in this case, I want to swap my staked ETH tokens for let's say Ethereum. So I select which I wanna sell, I select which I want to buy, and of course, you could buy any of these different tokens in here. There's thousands of them, and if it doesn't show up automatically by searching for it, you can also paste the token address. But I'm just going to keep it simple and swap staked ETH for regular ETH. I'm going to select how much, all of it, and this one is showing me that it's going to route this trade through Uniswap V3, which has the most liquidity for this liquidity pool. Now, a lot of the time, it's probably gonna route you through Uniswap simply because that's the largest decentralized exchange. But sometimes it won't. Sometimes it will route you through a different DEX. And the reason why you might wanna use Matcha instead of just going to Uniswap every time is that in those cases where the liquidity is best on other decentralized exchanges, it will automatically recognize that for you and allow you to make those trades at the best possible prices. So once you've selected what you're trading from, what you're trading to, you have to approve the assets and then make the swap. So that's two transactions that I'm gonna to have to make in my Web3 wallet. In this case, I'm using MetaMask. So it's gonna pop up automatically. I'm going to approve the application accessing my staked ETH so that I can swap it for regular ETH. Now, once that is approved, I can hit review order and then place order. This right here, slippage tolerance, you wanna make sure that this is low. 0.5% is great. If accidentally, for some reason, the slippage tolerance gets up high, then you can get absolutely wrecked when trading by MEV bots. Uh, so you wanna make sure that the slippage tolerance is always somewhere around like 1% or less than 1%. That way, you'll make sure that you'll get a good price and you won't get wrecked in the trade. So I'm trading $2 of staked ETH for $1.99 of regular ETH. And actually, since I've waited too long, I have to refresh the quote. All right, let's go ahead and place this order, make this trade. Have to confirm one more transaction in MetaMask and 18 cents for the transaction fee, which out of a total price of $2 is not great, but just doing this for the purposes of science. So I'll confirm that transaction here and we'll wait for that to go through. And there you go. You can see it took just a couple of seconds. If I want to, I can hit see details and we'll open up in the blockchain explorer where I can see exactly what happened and how much I paid. So yeah, that is how you use Matcha. It is a great tool and you can use it, like I said, across all of these different layer twos and you can trade for pretty much any ERC20 token that you can think of as well as, of course, Ethereum. So I highly recommend checking it out if you're looking to trade cryptocurrencies on a decentralized exchange. Matcha is great for that.